Now that you have your topic and you've conducted an initial search, you might need additional information, maybe on a particular aspect of your topic. Right now, I am searching the facial recognition software, and I'm concerned about it because of issues with privacy, issues with law enforcement, and also issues with racial profiling. So I want to find a little more information on those specific aspects of my topic. And so I'm looking for information from different sources. On this tab, this gathering information tab, we have two main sources of information. Those that help you find news and research articles and those that are good sources for statistics. In this video, I'm going to talk about the find news and research articles um, resources. So I have two databases here. One is called US Major Dailies. These are the main 21 major newspapers in the United States. And this is a great place to find examples um, in, that are recently in the news, along with um, some sources of statistics and things like that. And the next one is Academic Search Complete, which is a database that has a little bit of everything in all different fields of study. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start in Academic Search Complete. And I clicked on the name of the database and it opened up. If I was at home, I would have to put in the same username and password I use for Canvas. And I'm gonna do a simple search. So I'm going to do facial recognition. in law enforcement. And what I've done with my search is facial recognition I have in quotes because it's two names and two words, and it's really important that those words show up next to each other in my results. Then I have an and all in caps. That's a command to the search engine to tell it to only bring me back articles that include these two terms. I have law enforcement also in quotes because it's two words. So let me do my search. I have 189. Um, results. There's some things I want to do right away. So I make sure first that I limit my results to full text because I only want items that the library owns. So that brings me down to fewer results. And I start to see different um, articles here, legal questions around facial recognition. As technology expands, so do questions about its constitutionality. The pros and facial recognition, this is talking about positive and negative points of facial recognition technology, um, including how it gives law enforcement power that threatens some of our core freedoms. Uh, another um, article on the end of anonymity from um, popular science, and it's talking about how um, advances in facial recognition software, including the FBI's program and how it helps state and local police. So any of these might be useful. They might provide that point of view that I need for my argument. So if I click on this one, the end of anonymity, I can see you know, the abstract, which is the summary of the article. It also gives me some subject terms from the database. So if I want to get more results, if I want to see everything in this database about facial recognition software, I can click on this subject term here, human racial facial recognition software, and it will give me everything in the database. If I want this particular article, I can click on the PDF to the full text. And I've got it right here. I can see the article. And once it's here, I can print it. I can download it. I can save it to Google Drive or um, the Microsoft OneDrive. And if I need the citation, I just click this right here. It'll give me the citation and I can find it in MLA format, right? So that is um, one of the databases using this particular search term. Now, if, if I was really wanted to focus in on the use of facial recognition and, and um, how it relates to race. I could just do a simple search like this, facial recognition and race. Um, and I don't have race in quotes because it's just a single word. And, and just like um, before, um, it has limited to just what the library owns by clicking this full text button.
And then it's going to talk about the issues with our current facial recognition software and its inability to recognize individuals of races other than white and the problems that that can cause, right? So that's one of those databases um, that we were talking about. That's a really good place to get additional information and is a way to narrow in on a particular aspect of your issue. So um, a part that you're not getting enough information from a more general source, such as opposing viewpoints. Um, the other source we were talking about before, US Major Dailies, is a newspaper database. So I could do a similar search. So I've got facial recognition in law enforcement again, and I've got 1,600 results. And these are going back to 1995. So I can use the slider bar to get to things that are more current. Maybe I'm looking for a current example um, to use as an example in my paper. Um, you could decide that you want to limit it by, you know, just a particular um, publication. So maybe I'm going to limit it to the Los Angeles Times because I only want to see articles that are happening in LA because I want to make a point to my audience, which is a local audience. And you've got different kinds of articles. An op-ed or an editorial is an opinion. Um, then you've got straight news articles. And just like the other databases, you can save it as a PT PDF, email it printed, and you can also get the citation. So hopefully between these right here, you're going to find everything you need um, in, in order to compose a good argument. But if you don't find enough on your topic using these two databases, this is just these are just two databases off of a list of almost 100. And you can see all of our databases by clicking on our databases A to Z link right here. And it lists them all here. Um, you can also look at them by subject. And if you feel overwhelmed, if you're not sure which one of these databases you should look at, just click over here on this chat with the librarian link and you'll be able to get in touch with the librarian right away and we'll be able to recommend which database is the best for the topic that you're looking at.